Hi. As we discussed conditional formatting in our last example, now we are going to do the same conditional formatting, but this time we are going to apply the data bars. Okay, let's see the functionality of data bar. This is the same sheet. I am going to select this column, this uh, because I have to select the number to apply a data bar on within this column. Okay, so I select the range, I go to conditional formatting, first option. If you see the option is already available here, data bars. You can select any color to apply a data bar here. I, I'll select the blue one and it apply within the cell a small bar, which is known as data bar. Now, I want to know what values actually it's looking because this is showing the full bar. This is a little. So bar is actually being created according to the value inside the cell. So I will go conditional formatting and I will manage this rule and open this data bar and see what is happening inside this menu box. So I actually use format all cell based on their values. And here I use data bar. Okay, but the value here is showing automatically. I'm going to change it to the number. No, I don't want automatic. I want my own because this is my uh, uh, sales amount uh, column. So I will say sales from zero. Let's say 10,000. I put from zero to 10,000, click OK. So I give my own range. Now you can see 8,700 is not 100% complete bar is there. So this is how we can show a, a graph in, within the cell as a bar, which is known as data bar. And this option is available in conditional formatting.